we have arrived at the Casa Hotel. Okay, I'm gonna go get x-rays and make some Yeah, I have to tell you, my thumb... That is a lot of food. Good morning, beautiful people. Check it, Paige, here in Pechabun. Pechabun. We are headed to Konkan this morning. We've been so many places I'm trying to remember. We had a pretty decent stay here in Pechabun. Very lovely town. Not too many places to stay close to the walking street uh, festival they have here on Saturdays. Very, very big festival. Worth seeing. The city's worth staying, I think. Not only that, but it's where Cal Call was with the beautiful mountains and the beautiful scenery. Anyway, we are headed south. No, oh, east. east. Yeah. yeah, headed east. I have got a doctor's appointment right after lunch today to find out what's going on with both of my thumbs. Like, yeah, it's becoming like irritating to me to have a like having a hard time even opening a bottle of water at the moment. So anyway, we'll see what's going on with the doctor. I don't like to complain about my ailments, but I do want to bring you along because I think the hospital system in Thailand is, is amazing and definitely worth talking about. So anyway, come with us today. Good morning. Well, it is Sunday, probably going to be a uh, slow day on the road. We're going to be driving kind of in the country, so a lot of people who drive slow are on the road, I should say. People like to go exercise their vehicles today. That's what my father-in-law is doing this morning. <laughs> we, I know we've been traveling during this flooding thing and I mean, we understand how it happened and we do live on the Mekong River, like on it. My mom lives on the Mekong River, actually below street level on the Mekong River. So we've been, I've been talking to her every day. I've been talking to the landlord. Paige has been talking to her family. We've been monitoring the water levels on the internet from the government sites. And we've been watching on the uh, Thai side, uh, Facebook live posts from every, every province, every Ampa has like a, like a community Facebook page and they'll show like live video uh, of what's going on at the moment. So we've been watching and, you know, making sure everybody's safe. Not that I could go save the day, you know, in the Kompanom. But, you know, my mom knows if water got into her house, she just needs to grab her passport and her, you know, she's got a um, kind of a bag full of her, you know, documents that she just take to the hotel, you know, next door until we get there, you know. Everything in her house is pretty much replaceable. I, anyway, my mom has sent me some pictures today which should be the highest point of, of, um, of the flooding. So today is Sunday the 15th, and the water has gone down in Nong Kai and Chiang Khan at the moment. So those two areas are low. It, over, it went over the banks in, in Nong Kai because it's pretty low in that area. Also, if you ever followed the Mekong River down that area, which we have a few times, there's a lot of big rocks. So the flow is not always super fast in those windy areas and the big rocks. Uh, but there is no restriction as far as a dam or anything like that in that area. So um, the water was kind of slow to go and it was low land in that, in that part. Nekompanom is in high land. Mukdahan is high. Chiang Rai is, is pretty high as well. But uh, those areas weren't really predicted to flood that much. However, Chiang Rai did get flooded. So my mom sent me some pictures of the water coming within. I think right now it's probably 
one and a half meters from touching her porch, from getting up on her porch. I think the worst thing that could happen in my mind is that it could get on her porch. From her porch, she has about another half a meter, a foot and a half from coming into the house. So all together, she's probably got about five feet, four and a half to five feet before the water will ever touch her doorstep. So she, even though she's way below the street, she's still pretty good. But the water is um, receding north of her, but it takes a while to flow. She told me, that, she told me this morning that um, it's flowing really fast. So yeah, from her, from where we are, like I said it just has to. Fl it goes down, you know, past Cambodia and uh, south. So I'm just trying to figure out what these people are doing. Anyway, quick update on that. Looks like the water in Tapanom is about the same. Somebody said it climbed up a couple of steps. But like I've said earlier before this trip, I've seen it a lot higher than it is during this period. And um, it has gotten into mom's house, I think during that time, but mom didn't live there. So yeah, living on the, that's what happens when you live on a river in Thailand. <laughs> but anyway, nobody's gonna get trapped in it. And uh, I think it's all downhill from there. I think it's uh, it'll it'll clear up. Just a quick update on that. We've got a three-hour drive this morning to Con Ken. I, we're gonna spend actually two nights there because I'm not sure what the doctor's gonna say. I can't imagine him having me come back tomorrow for anything. Um, I, I don't think it's anything like I could have surgery or any of that stuff, you know. So, um, but we just decided to stay a couple of days kind of hang out in the area. We've been monitoring the weather, so it's actually all the, the, the most of the rain from the systems are south of us now. So south of actually where we're at here in Con Can. I think it's headed toward like, towards like Seren, Buriram, down south Bangkok and beyond that. So I think we're in the clear. We do have thoughts of leaving at the end of the month to make our journey down south. But we're gonna have to monitor the weather and see what's going on. We don't have to do anything, so we may have to wait, you know, a few more days or a week or or something like that till we head to our next spot. But as of right now, we're gonna go home and take a two week break and um, head, head south. So. Continue straight. Green mountains. Okay, our last mountain adventure. And I, I don't know about the trucks here in Thailand. In America, like them things, eh? we've been up in the mountains in Colorado and them things flying through the, I mean, it's a good thing they don't do that here, but I guess the trucks are really underpowered here. I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't think so. But they, they can seem to climb a hill. No problem going down. Yeah, very nice. This is all sprayed concrete here. Come, tree in my 
bowing There's too much cold and too much smoke Look what's going on inside you Ooh, that smell Can't you smell that Well, it's a little smell. scary, but we are way up on top of the mountain in a national park, and it's going to be a while before we get out of it, and we have to pee pee. <laughs> Should have stopped a while back, but this is a, you know, I guess a police station, parks and wildlife, government building. Anyway, I don't want to disturb them from their nap. Hello. Hello. All right, back on the road. Ooh, that smell. Can't you smell that smell? We have arrived here in busy, as usual, Con Ken. It's lunchtime, 12.02, big central plaza. Behind us here is the uh, Buri Ra, I mean Buri Ra, what is it? The, huh? What's the name of the hospital? Konkenlam. Konken Ram Hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been driving too long. You want some donuts? No, thank you. <sighs> anyway, we are here, sitting in traffic. We've got another one kilometer to go. We have arrived at the Casa Hotel, stayed here. This is probably third, maybe fourth time I've stayed here. Little mall across the way here. A couple of good places to hang out, food. Yeah, it's a good little stop. We're gonna get our stuff put in and then maybe grab some lunch and then go to the hospital. Oh no, we gotta take our clothes. For sure, our close to the laundry mat. There's one right over here. All right, we are in our room. Nice hotel. I'll leave the link in the description. Only bad thing is that bathtub. I always get this view. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> no pool view? No. Only building? Okay. Maybe next time. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I just took the laundry there. I know there's another laundry down the road, but I didn't feel like walking, so it cost me a couple hundred baht more. Normally, that much laundry will cost us about between four, 350 to 500 baht. Depends on where you're at. But here it cost me seven because they did piece by piece. So, you know, you got one sock, it's 10 baht. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I didn't, I don't know exactly where the other one is. Okay, we are here going to have some lunch. It seems like, uh, oh, this is called Yoko Tai. Um, a lot of foreigner food here. Anyway, I'm going to chill, have some lunch next to the that is a lot of food. It's a uh, fish. All right, let's get to the uh, to the hospital, and hopefully that doesn't take long. The lady said, "I don't necessarily need an appointment. There's always somebody there." Tonsillectomy, 49,000 baht. That's kind of how I feel. Okay, 
I'm gonna go get x-rays. I'm making Paige come with me. He said right now it's probably arthritis. Actually, he said it's probably because I'm old. But anyway, <laughs> give me just a moment. X-ray. Is that a mobile x-ray? Mm -hmm. So the problem you, is here. Yeah. And here. Yeah. You, you, you can see joint speed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. 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 Okay, we are out of here. So that was cheap. 2600 baht. The cortisone shot, it hurt. But it felt like really good, like right after that. But now walking to the truck, it's kind of hurting again. I don't know maybe the fluid he said he couldn't get it all in there because the joint it's arthritis so he said the cartilage is gone he said i need to learn how to not use my thumb so much i don't know how to do that but i'll have to try and um i got a appointment in two more months to come back and see uh, if there's any improvement in it there is surgery. You remember what the surgery is called? Me. Yeah, we'll have to ask him the next time, maybe write it down. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit hurt. And both of my hands. Mm -hmm. This one feels good. This one's a little. I don't know. On the left side, maybe a little more stiff now. Yeah. He, he couldn't get it all in there. He said it was just, it's so narrow, it was just pushing back out. So. Now I have a bunch of that crap in my thumb. That's a lot of water going up north. Donations. They'll be out of water for some time. They'll probably be out of water for some time. <laughs> Contaminated. Now, there is a lot of people bringing donations, um, which is awesome. I'm going to go for a little walk. Paige is getting a massage right now. So, it's going to do a walk around the block. I told her, just give me a text when you're done. I'll tell you where I ended up. If I ended up anywhere. Well, we might come here tonight at that Casa Steakhouse. Uh, last time I came here, I had hamburger. It was pretty good. But this building here is new. I guess they just put this up uh, well, after since we've been here. Looks nice. This is just a little section in Con Can where kind of a lot of foreigners hang out in this area. So I'm just gonna walk around here, see if there's some place cool to sit down where there's not many people. Probably not much today. I heard thunder a little while ago. Boy, this whole little section here it's just a couple of little bars and restaurants this actually this actually looks new may have to come check it out here's an italian restaurant carlos el carlos steakhouse somebody said that was good i've never eaten there it's always been closed every time i come but we're gonna eat steak i'd probably eat at the other place Cobra bar. Anyway, little bars here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are open. So here's a laundry place right here. See, they charge by the kilogram. Should have just took it there. And then a couple bars, two or three bars here. Not very many. That's about it here in Con Ken. Well, it started raining, so... Paige is done with her. Did you get a two hour massage or an hour and a half? At the hotel. It's not bad at the hotel. It's not expensive like a lot of hotels. I'm gonna 
get, I think I'm just going to get the cheese steak. He just took my steak. <laughs> he said, did you order the cheesy steak? I'm like, yeah. He goes, oh, let me go put the cheese on it. I'm like, okay. Looks good. Anyway, I was ready to dig into it. I didn't get the steak, but it was pretty good. This was really good. Well, it ended up being a very nice evening. I have to tell you, my thumb hurts 12 times more than it ever did. And I, when you get when it was done, I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. It felt perfect. I don't know, he was trying to dig around there with the needle to find the right spot. And then he was trying to force it in there and he was like it's too collapsed i can't get that much in there and then he just kept pushing but i'll tell you what right now i'm in pain <laughs> not to complain like a schoolgirl, but it hurts i'm pretty sure it's got to be because of the injection so it'll feel better tomorrow anyway guys come with us tomorrow we'll have an awesome day in fun bye